This is a list of the top 10 states likely to burn in 2019 by wildfires. This list is ranked by total number of acres burned per state from 2018. Alaska is known for its icebergs that are taller than skyscrapers, yet it still made this burning list. In 2018, 410,683 acres of land burned due to wildfires. The vast majority of these fires are caused by lightning strikes. Alaska receives between 40,000 and 100 lightning strikes per year. The wildfire season in Alaska can start as early as March and can last as late as December. Washington state is nicknamed the Evergreen State, but in 2018, temperatures spiked and the state dried out. This resulted in 438,834 acres burnt by wildfires. The wildfire season starts as early as May and usually ends around October. July is the peak month for fires. Drought and dry conditions are to blame, but people burning yard waste is the main cause for wildfires in Washington. Utah is known for its miles of barren salt flats and beautiful national monuments and landmarks. While the state does experience its fair share of drought, temperature spikes, and lightning strikes, these aren't the main cause. In 2018, 438,983 acres of land were burnt due to wildfires. The leading cause of wildfires in Utah resulted from equipment, which accounted for 35% of wildfires. This includes everything from flat tires and electrical malfunctions to farm equipment, landscaping equipment, dragging metal, ATV misuse, chainsaws, and other types of machinery humans use. Colorado is known for its breathtaking scenery and famous Rocky Mountain range. Every year, Colorado experiences very hot and dry conditions during the summertime and usually enacts a fire ban in counties that will most likely be affected. In 2018, 475,803 acres were burned while the state and federal lawmakers pushed to raise penalties for disobeying these fire bans. The main reason for wildfires in Colorado are caused by igniting fireworks and forgetting or neglecting to properly extinguish campfires. Texas is known for its hot temperatures and famous barbecue, but that's not the only thing cooking in the state. In 2018, 569,811 acres of Texas land was burned due to wildfires. Though a huge contributing factor to these wildfires is extremely hot weather temperatures, people burning debris is the most common reason. In recent years, wildfires have threatened and in some cases burned through small towns and large cities, destroying hundreds of homes. Everyone knows Idaho is known for its potato farms, but every year these farms are threatened by fires. In 2018, 604,481 acres of Idaho were damaged due to wildfires. There are many reasons why wildfires start in Idaho, and most of them are human caused. The main reason for wildfires is from shooting firearms. Shooting related fires accounted for 60% of Idaho's wildfires in 2018. The state recently enacted a fire prevention order making it illegal to burn explosive materials, use fireworks, exploding targets, or tracer ammunition on BLM managed lands. Oklahoma is known for the Oklahoma land rush, when 50,000 settlers rushed their way to settle Indian territory in 1889. Unfortunately, a lot of that land is threatened by wildfires each year. In 2018, wildfires burned 745,097 acres of Oklahoma land. The main reason for these wildfires in Oklahoma is unknown, but most likely human caused. These wildfires tend to happen following drier winters that lead to drought. This mixed with dried prairie grass and high temperatures is a prime mixture for wildfires. Oregon is known for its diverse landscape of forests, mountains, farms, and beaches. But in 2018, these beautiful landscapes were scarred with wildfires that ravaged 897,263 acres. A lot of Oregon's wildfires start from lightning strikes, but the main reason for them is human caused from possible arsons and debris burns. But some Oregon residents are extremely vulnerable to wildfires as they live near to wildland settings surrounded by flammable vegetation. Nevada is known for its Death Valley and its vast barren desert landscape. Yet in 2018, 1,001,966 acres of land was still burned. Nevada's wildfires are mostly fueled by pine, pinyon juniper, aspen, sagebrush, and invasive species like cheatgrass. But it's almost an even tie between lightning strikes and human-related causes when it comes to the main reason for the wildfires in the state. In 2018, Nevada witnessed the largest wildfire in the state's history. This fire ultimately burned more than 439,000 acres an area about five times the size of Las Vegas. This was not only the largest fire in Nevada history, but also one of the biggest in U.S. history. California is known for its diverse landscape, ranging from mountains to beaches and from forests to deserts. But these beautiful landscapes are not exempt from the destruction of wildfires. California made the number one spot on this list by over 800,000 acres. In 2018, a total of 1,823,153 acres were burned. The 2018 wildfire season was the deadliest and most destructive wildfire season on record in California, with a total of 8,527 fires. That's an average of 23 fires a day. At its height, the campfire that destroyed the city of Paradise burnt at an equivalent of 60 football fields per minute. 
That fire was the deadliest and most destructive in the state's history. Deliberate debris burning, fireworks, and rogue campfires are the most common causes for wildfires in California. But electrical lines and equipment are to blame for the wildfires that have burned the most acres. Fire is a part of the natural environmental cycle as well as a potential destroyer of life, property, and resources. In the early history of the earth, nearly all wildfires started by lightning strikes. Now that humans have come on the scene, we're responsible for the vast majority of fires. About 84% of wildfires in the USA are started by people.